So Francis sent me a message asking about batch rendering, as in how do we do multiple camera angles and render them all at the same time without having to uh, touch moto every time you, you want to change the camera. Um, basically, you know, automate that whole process. So I'm going to do a little video here and just show how that is done. Um, so the first thing we need is a couple of cameras. So right now I have one camera. If I press F8, I can see what my camera is doing. Let's go to options and check off full resolution. And now I can sort of adjust my camera and make it how I want. Okay, there's the first camera. And let's make a new camera. So I'm going to go item up top create a camera now I've got that and I'm gonna press sync or actually let me move my view a bit to the back and then I can say sync to view so the second camera should be stuck there so let's press F8 and to check the second camera I'm gonna click over on the top left where it says render camera and then get the second one okay that's good let's go over to here and make one more item create camera sync to view okay and it's always good to name these so let's make the first one called front three four second one is rear three four three quarter and the third one is side low okay so the key to this whole uh, batch thing is we're going to animate it so if I go to shading on the top right and then render this shows me uh, I have a camera selector here under render camera so I got my three up here in the drop down and I'm gonna hit F8 again and this is key um, when you're in F8 make sure when you click on the left here make sure you're not on checked on any of these three cameras that will not animate so to animate we need to choose render camera the top one so go up here render camera click and make sure none of these are checked okay so now now I'm on render camera which means it will feed off of this this uh, toolbar on the right here so if I switch this it should no yeah it should switch and correspond so let's switch to the front three-quarter for the first one and open up the animation graph which is F7 so now we can control the animation here. Um, all right, let me delete these two frames. So you should see something like this. If you click the circle, or actually, let me let me move my timeline down to zero. I'm just going to click on zero and make sure that this thing is red. So when, the, when you click the circle and it turns red, it creates a little keyframe here on the timeline. And you can see that we have our camera index selected. That's telling Moto which camera to render. So index number, uh, this should be just zero, right? Oh wait, no, that's... Alright, I guess for some reason this camera, this front three quarter, is index number two, I guess. So it says value two. Then I'm going to switch to frame number one and switch this to the next camera, three quarter, the rear three, uh, rear three quarter, and then switch to frame number two, and then switch this to the third camera. So uh, on frame zero, we've got index number two. Frame one, we have index number zero. 
frame two, we have index number one. And these index numbers correspond to these three cameras. All right. And so if I render out this three frame animation, I should get all of those cameras. So let's test that out. I'm going to go here. If you want and you have a high quality uh, frame, like let's say you have uh, 2048 by whatever, let's see, by 1200. Okay, so let's say you have a nice high quality render, you would check on full resolution. But I'm not doing that because I want I want this to go fast in the demo. Um, also, just make sure all these check marks are matching here to what you see, aside from that one. And then you can say uh, render animation. Oh, also check on render all, all outputs. So, okay, render animation. I'm going to say two minutes. This is the total time that the animation will render. And the first frame should be frame number zero, corresponding to this frame number zero. Last frame will be number two, corresponding to here. And then save as an image sequence, not a movie, image sequence. And then say OK. And then just make a folder. And I'm going to choose um, PNG. Oh, here's my old ones. Uh, actually, let's just do JPEG in this case. It doesn't matter. So let's just call it batch for now and then say save. All right, so it should switch back to the first frame here in our animation. And it's going, going, going. This should go for about 30 seconds. All right, so it just switched to the second frame at about half, uh, one third through. So it's trying to split up the two minutes of time into thirds for each frame. Yay, preview render. And then here's the third frame. Okay, so the animation is complete. I'm going to say OK. And let's check out that uh, folder. Oh, I have some old stuff here. Untitled. Let's delete all those. Okay, so here's the three that I just rendered. And that works. Let's open them up. One, two, three. Now you do this with the full resolution on, so it'd be higher quality, but it's pretty good for two minutes, right? So that's it. If, if that's what you're looking for, you can end this video right now. Um, Francis was actually asking about multiple outputs also. So if you're interested in that, you can use, um, unfortunately, preview render doesn't render all of these. As far as I know, you can only do one at a time. So you could say, click on effect, change to one of these other outputs. Let's say I want ambient. So I'll switch from the effect to ambient. And then I could just do the same old render animation. Um, but if you wanted all of it to go at the same time, you could say uh, close this. And le let me crank down my resolution just for this test. So let's say 256. Render, render animation goes to show how much I use this. And, and then just put in the same frame numbers, 0 and 2, save as an image sequence, and say OK. And let's do the same old JPEG. And if I name it batch, it should overwrite the old ones. So I'm going to name it batch, save. And now you'll get a, a window like this. And these little uh, CPU buckets will go, the little squares. And it should be saving all three of these outputs at the same time. So if I go to my uh, file, I can see that it's creating nine different frames. So three cameras and three outputs. Let's open these up. And you again, you want to use better resolution, but for testing, that's what we're looking for. All right, so I hope this helps. And if you're interested in uh, 
learning more about this drone ship thing there's a whole video about it and you can check it in the link below and thanks for watching